Welcome back to Morgan's Off Leash. I'm Melissa Morgan. Welcome to Firearms Friday and some fashion. And if you've watched the last two Firearm Friday videos, I shot the Caltech PMR30 and the FNX45. Today, we're going old school. These are both Ruger single action revolvers. Although they look very similar, they're very different. This is beautiful. This is the Ruger Blackhawk 357 Magnum. And this is the Ruger single six and 17 HMR. Okay, like I said, these two are very similar, but in the ammunition, they're very different. We have the 17 HMR and the 357 mag. Okay, we have the 17 grain bullet compared to the 158 grain bullet. Okay, like I said, these are both single action revolvers. You're not gonna be able to pull the trigger and it go off. You're gonna have to cock the hammer first. Okay, and I just want to take a moment to thank all of you and welcome to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate the support. I've heard uh, plenty of thumbs ups and great comments supporting the shooting Firearm Friday fashion videos. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found these. I'm glad you're sharing them. This is something I think is so important to learn about the firearms, learn the safety and learn how to shoot safely. Um, it's what I did growing up and I'm still growing. And I think it's important that we teach our family, our friends, the same thing. So thanks very much for being here. Before we start shooting, we have some exciting news. Our son Levi and his wife Kate had their second baby today. A little girl, they named her Thea, and she was six pounds, 13 ounces. She's healthy, and Kate, our daughter-in-law, is doing well. So we're super excited to share that with you. All right, I think I'm gonna start with the 17 HMR. Let's go. I'm gonna to shoot to the target on the left. I wasn't hitting anything back there, so I moved a little closer. All right, the first two, I'm pretty sure are right here. <laughs> so that's when I came forward a little bit. And here we have my other four. Um, I know a few of the subscribers were kind enough to send me a um, an target divided up into eye, like a, a clock almost. And it gave you an idea if you were like shooting between one and two or two and three, what you're doing. Same with if you're shooting in between three o'clock and four o'clock down to six. I'm a big person that's been shooting between the 9 and the 12 o'clock, I've noticed. And I think when uh, I read what he sent me, that I'm leaning too much into it. So I need to work on that. 
All right, now we're going to put the 17 HMR away and we're going to pull out the 357. Still a little better, but like I said, I need to practice and um, I like shooting a revolver. But here we go. Like I said, from 9 to 12, that's kind of where I'm shooting. A few down from like 6 to 9 o'clock right here. But uh, I had no problems hitting the water jug or the, um, the steel jug. Steel motor mix. This isn't real mix. It's just water in here. But uh, these cans are pretty sturdy because look, took a hit and stood up here. Way to go, steel. Okay, I didn't forget to add my um, Fashion Friday to it. Got to take off my ear protection and my eye protection. And I started out with this hat on. And uh, I like to give everybody a, a little flash of my fashion or a few people requested the uh, Charlie Angel I think that's what they do I don't know I'm not a Charlie's Angel and um, I don't believe in like my fashion fun and holding a gun at the same time so I'm leaving my revolver up there this is just a, a quick glimpse of my dad's snap western shirt from the 70s Look at this, Dad. I bet you could still fit into it today. My dad does watch my videos, my mom and dad both. I got my hat, of course, at the secondhand store. And what's nice about this hat is um, you could just like smush it into a ball, probably stick it in your pocket. And um, then you kind of just shape it up a little and put it back on your head. My sunglasses, I remember getting these. Um, Mike and I left for our trip out west and we stopped at a uh, service plaza and uh, we went in, you know, used the restroom, come out. Mike finds me like buying all these sunglasses. He's like, we stopped to go to the bathroom. How do you spend $25? I bought a bunch of sunglasses. So still have a few pairs. Like I said, my shirt was my dad's. My jeans are Wranglers. And um, they have the design pockets. So, uh, oh yeah. And I got to show you my boots. Okay, ready? This is the... Um, Yoga, the range yoga, firearm range yoga. I got my foot up and this is just a low cut boot from Ariat. I like these boots. See, and then there's just a, a zipper on them, just like that, or you can slip into them. So, you know, you can wear your jeans in them or out over them. There you go. I like them. They have a little bit of a, a heel to them. So with my motif, I just felt it was better than the Ariat hiking boots. Puts you in the mood, you know, when you're doing the walk. Because with a, with a heel on the boot, you just got that little strut going. You know, like a Starsky and Hutch. It's kind of like this. This probably won't make the video, but just in case. All right, but anyway... Practice your Starsky and Hutch or your Charlie's Angels. Go ahead, check out my other videos. I have, uh, this will be my third Firearm Friday fashion video, but I have a lot of other videos of behind the scenes of Outdoors with the Morgans. Check those out, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below, I really appreciate the support. It's so kind of you to uh, put good comments and help build my self-esteem and help me to go forward to making more of these videos. So thanks so much for being here. Make sure you hit the thumbs up for a like, make sure you're subscribed and then hit the bell icon next to it. And that'll just make sure that you get a notification when I publish a video, because it's always a surprise. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you on the next one.